and three and two and one. Thank you for joining. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I have something interesting. Is this more interesting than usual? Sure, whatever. Um, who doesn't think that every time they record it's something interesting, right? Uh, I know sometimes we go down some of these roads, uh, they're unpaved, they're dirt, right? They hurt the feet. All that good stuff. This one, I don't know how it's going to be for you. This is going to be pretty good for me because, you know, I went down this road already, you know, and then I was like, I'm going to go home and I went home and I'm like, hey, I should take you guys down this road. So now here we are. Now I'm all like, mm, 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 we should go down this road. So I'm going to set this up a little bit. So we have been here before. Asians related to Chinese. We're going to use this as a shortcut. We have seen East Asian people before. We're going to use some of these names as a shortcut. We're going to use some of these names as a shortcut. And then we'll use this later. They have a beautiful map over here. I never thought I'd be wanting to say, oh, beautiful map. But now I've read all this and I understand uh, different areas uh, or different aspects of different areas. Uh, it's pretty, it's a very pretty map. It's just a shame that to zoom in more, you actually see less. You know, to zoom out from this position, to 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 see these islands down here are. It's 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 too big an image to see it all at once on a screen, you know. So, but uh, I tell you, this is how we're gonna start this. I guess there are people that watch my videos and make videos, and they're they're very. Uh, promotive about it they say hey i was watching this content from lex and this is you know where it led me so i was watching uh mw smith you know uh before i was watching mw smith i was watching somebody else but i took down their video and i forgot who it was and so it made me ask a question as i usually do are mexicans some Canaanite tribe. I, I I just always have to ask. You know, we've been down here before. Uh, here's my disclaimer. Every time I make a video, I'm losing donors. Okay? That's, that's just the way it is. There's nobody that has not been thrown under this bus. I've I've hit some, some bumps in the road. I've bumped my face on the windshield. I've fallen out and fell under the bus. Okay, so again, we are looking at our Mexican Phoenician. We we've looked at uh, see we've typed in Mexican Phoenician before. So let's keep that in mind. We've done that, and that's gotten us the theory of Phoenician discovery of America, right? Mm -hmm. Nope, that's that might be new. All right, so we did uh, did Mexican DNA. You get past this stuff about diabetes. It's, it's going to give you one about Los Angeles. That's that's the one that we would probably look for. That's the best. Sidetracking already? Well, it doesn't hurt to do a little sidetracking. It, it, it builds a little bit of interest. So we read an article that uh, Mexicans of Los Angeles, there it is, have the most have the higher levels of Neanderthal ancestry. 
No. Now look at this. This now, when I typed in Mexicans, right now this is like, hey, hey, hey. You don't want Mexicans. You want to look at East Asians and Melanesians, right? Blah, blah, those of Mexican ancestry. So this is going to give it uh, all some juiciness. All right, so Dr. Wall, Dr. Yang, Dr. J, Dr. Kim, Dr. Duran, Stevenson, Dr. Gignux, Dr. Wiener, <laughs> Dr. Hammer. <laughs> Dr. Weaver doesn't want to work with Dr. Hammer, huh? We Warner, Warner, Warner. Okay, my bad. I thought it was Wiener. Weirder. Okay, no, it's not. Whoa. Warner. Warner. Sorry. Warner. It's an old form of I can make a whole video off of how the hell do you pronounce this? Alright, so I guess all these guys and girls uh were in this, right? Neanderthals were a group of archaic hominids, right? Our last endeavor started off with this occupied most of Europe and parts of Western Asia. From 30, that, even the guys that made this said they're misusing it, right? So, they coexisted with modern humans. So, they're letting it all out. In this article, you know, you read other articles, they, they, they really hold the reins. They pull the horse reins, slow down the carriage. No, no, no. This one, just like that, they pre-existed, right? Previous genetics, uh, genetic an analysts have compared a draft sequence of Neanderthal genome with genomes of several modern humans, including Neanderthal, that, excuse me, concluded that Neanderthal made a small contribution to the gene pool of all non-African population. Okay, so all non-African population. So, you know, they're playing the word game here. They're actually talking about the people that are from Shem. The African populations are hemetic groups. So, one could see this as saying, with the out of Africa lie, they're saying this didn't affect what we call black people or African Americans or Negro, right? Or dark skinned Jafet eyes. So, what they're telling you here is what? Because this gets confusing. Since their database is what, trained to lie or they're just taking the data and saying stuff. See, we're to a point where we understand that the African presence in Africa isn't quite African. Do they also share this genome? Well, we won't know because they're too caught up with this lie. Which right away shows you the devil's mark is on it because it starts confusion. Well, why? Because all this branches off of what? The heathen looked to paint their likeness in the book. Since the book was history, the heathen looked to paint their likeness all over history. So here's the first bump in the road. This observation was consistent 
with a single episode of admixture from Neanderthal into the ancestors of the of all non-Africans. Now, again, that is a mega bold claim. That is to say they have the DNA of everyone. That means to say when you blew your nose and threw it in the trash, all your trash went to one processing center that separated all your Kleenex with your name and number on it, and all the rest of your trash went to the trash bin. All those Kleenex were analyzed and compiled, and they can tell you. Isn't that weird? So, here it says, that this one-time dose of Neanderthal Jizab. Ooh, didn't have said it that way, huh? Uh, into all the ancestors of everyone that has non-African DNA. Isn't that weird? When the two, so does that consider Arabs? Well, Arabs are from Arabia, so I mean, that takes it out of it. Well, some people argue that Arabia is part of Africa. Some people know that history that Arabs are in Africa during different parts. I mean, what does that really mean? Confusion. Confucius say, if you be confused, the adversary done scrambled some shit. When the two groups coexisted in the Middle East, now I thought, right, oh my God, you're telling me they're all over Europe, they're all over Asia, but now you're telling me the place that they coexisted is the Middle East, right? Is this the secret of why you want everybody to believe everything is out of Mesopotamia? These two rivers fed these towers that we can't find. We find the foundation for something. It looks like a shoebox, but don't worry about it. We will. Sh this is the Tower of Babylon in the Middle East. These two tiny ass rivers that are supposed to lead back to the Garden of Eden, but there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Even if you go to Google Earth, even if you look at underwater map, there's nothing there. So these two groups coexist, they cohabitated in the Middle East. 50 to 80 Kaya. What was that? Like, is that supposed to be 1,000 years? 50 to 80,000 years? When we believe, what is that? Is that some new shit? We examined the relationship between the Neanderthal and modern humans. You mean ancient humans? Because there's. In greater detail, by applying two complementary methods to the published draft Neanderthal genome, what an elongated sentence, and an expanded set of high coverage modern human genome sequences. How dare you say that one time fast while driving backwards, drinking a Pepsi? The choice of H-E-K-293, babies. We find that, this is this batch of crazies, right? We find that consistent with the recent finding of Miratel 212, a uh, high coverage genome sequence of archaic Denisovian individual. Okay, so. We find that it, consistent with the recent findings of the Dissolvian individual, Neanderthals contributed more DNA to modern East Asians than to modern Europeans. So what does that mean? Neanderthals contributed. Does that mean sex act? Yes, that means so. Oh wow, that's 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 terrible. So here's the book of Tashir, Tower of Babel, Genesis nine. We go over there, and then well, here's these Hamites. Right? Remember, these are running with like the children of Cush, right? 
Now, we all know what Kushites look like, so that's black people. All right, so this non-African shit is hilarious. And so uh, what happened with him and the issue, right? He smoked. You will no longer call me Lord because that has been paganized. You will call me Ishi. In the book of Hosea, smote the three divisions. So is that the, that's the mentality of the people, right? And the Lord knew their thoughts. And it came to pass when they were building, they cast the arrows towards heaven. And all the arrows fell upon them filled with blood. And when they saw them the arrows filled with blood they say to each other so they didn't fall back into themselves they, sh they threw the arrows up to heaven because they wanted to kill people in heaven and the most high made the, here think that your arrows hit something and so the arrows came back with, with blood on them and they said to each other surely we have slain all those in heaven Surely our arrows are so powerful. If we shoot men with them, they stick in men. But if we shoot heavenly beings, our arrows will just go penetrate them so fast, right? Clearly, people in the past were just as in dumb as people today. For this was from the issue in order to cause them to err and in order to destroy them from the face of the fucking earth. And they built the tower and the city see we're only talking about the tower nobody pays attention to the city right what was the city right it was the city of babel in the land of shinar if you put right if you put that s to a, the shape of a c and you say shinar to chinar right or if you took china and you just put a r at the chin of chinar right it's the same place and that's what mw smith proved to me by going to Psalms 105. He becomes the witness because he, he proved to me, you are, you are not insane. You're stupid, but you are not insane, Lex Will. You are not insane. You're not a make-believer. You are not some idiot liar trying to manipulate everybody, boy. High five. So, and they did this thing every day for years. And God, the Most High, said to 70 angels, the one that commands angels said to the angels, who stood foremost before him, who stood in front of him, military trail, to those who were near him, saying, everybody who can hear my voice, Come, let us go down and whoop, whoo, let us confuse their tongue. That one man shall not understand the language. Now we read in the Bible, a command was sent out, an order was sent out. We pick it up as the angels go down and they report back. Here in the book of Yeshua, the book of Jashir, the book of the upright, we know exactly what's going on. They knew the intentions when they left home. We get to crush this. Huh? So they not understand their neighbor. China is the only place on the face of the earth where the person living next to him cannot understand what he is saying and they look alike. Remember the article? I have to have my mom around so I can understand either one of my cousins. From that day forward, from that day following, they forgot each man's neighbor, they forgot how to talk to each other. If you type in China and Babylon, the only thing you're going to get is this, the outcome. You're not, nobody's going to read to you about the tower. Nobody's going to read to you about the city. Only thing they're going to read to you is the curse. That they can't communicate. Without drawing pictures.
You ever notice half their characters look like a house in, in, in a description of what's inside the house? That they could not understand or speak in one tongue. And then the builder took from the hand of his neighbor a lime or stone, which he did not ask for or order. Have you ever been in the hot sun building and somebody brings you the wrong thing? That pisses you off. And the builder would cast it away and throw it upon his neighbor that he would die. And they did so for many days and they killed many of them in this matter. And the issue smote the three divisions that were there and he punished them according to their works and their designs, their thoughts, their thoughts, who said, I will ascend to heaven to serve our gods, the idols we created. They became like apes and elephants. And who said, there are no, do you understand what's going on? There are no freaking monkeys. There are no hominids. These are the beings that were changed. Showing you the greater location. They worship those people that were changed. They worship them like gods. What would you give a god if you have nothing? Hmm? Would you give a god that was changed into a monkey? Would you give it your womb? Hmm? What are they telling you in this article? We tested the world and we found that East Asians have the highest percentage of people mixed with things that became like apes and became like elephants. If you're in this field, all you would have to do is you would have to sit there and say, what is the DNA of an elephant? Because what are they doing? They're just listing everything as a hominid. Well, what's a hominid? Well, it's the beans of uh, Middle Earth. What are they building in the Lord of the Rings? They're building a tower. Are they replacing the angels that came down to fight against this? Are they replacing that with Middle Earth earthlings? The whole earth was one. Well, it couldn't be it, unless they were lying in the book. The whole earth was of one tongue. That means monsters and fairies and uh, women with big boobs could talk all the same language. The whole earth was, come on, man. Do we really need to interview dead people to sit there and get them to say, it's the story of the Bible. <sighs> so, just bear with me a little longer. I am not the best preacher. I am the most exciting preacher. I am a horrible teacher, but it's an exciting lesson. Now it says what? We will smite the heaven with arrows, and the Lord killed them. The ones that thought they would throw arrows up and right shoot arrows, he just killed them. No, there's no hope for them. One man threw the hand of his neighbor. And the third division of those who said, we will ascend into heaven and fight against him, he scattered them through the earth. Now, what's the difference? One, one said, we'll shoot you with arrows, right? From a distance. The ones that said, we'll fight you face to face, scattered them throughout the earth. The descendants of them that thought like this are all around us, salt and pepper. Not to say everybody but you thinks this way, but no. 
It's to make sure that mentality survives it unto what? The final day, the final judgment. Why? Well, what comes before the final judgment? What comes before the, the final judgment? It's the big battle. Oh. So, remember, the Most High has the power to make anybody powerful, right? Whether they be righteous or wicked. But remember, you have to up the ante each time. See, if you just have one evil guy just like kill everybody, right? It wouldn't be that big of a climactic fight for the Most High. Because you know, you just could have gave him a heart attack at any time. So the Most High tells you what he wants to do. He wants to give the nastiest, most evil people power. The people I just read about. Don't think about one nationality. Don't think about one race. The people that had the mindset to fight the people in heaven face to face. They will, they will read accumulate as one under a banner under a power the most high he wants to come in person you read that he wants to come back to earth he wants to enjoy his harvest what does he grow it seems he, he grows cannabis after blowing the mist and then he gives you instructions you will be growing in your third or four, after your third year, you can eat the food, which means before that you shouldn't eat the food. In your third year, you can eat the food and when they know that you have an abundance of food and they have nothing, they will come and try to take your food. And he says what? That's when I will show myself and magnify myself. When the Most High says, the earth is my footstool. You know, you understand the comparison of the earth to a footstool. That means when he's going to magnify himself, that means he's going to, like they show you, right? As I tell you, Marvel's always giving away the secrets, like the power to enlarge himself. You're sitting there watching these Marvel movies. How many? Oh, man. If I had that gas. Like Captain America, man, right? And I, and I, and I, and I got a little bit bigger. I had that gamma radiation like the Hulk. If I had that dirty whore treatment like Scarlet Witch, I'm just playing. Um, I meant Black Widow, but the Ant Man. To be able to change or magnify your density at will. This is what we don't truly comprehend. Why the Most High is the Most High. Not because He created everything thought everything through, made sure there's no way for people to backstab them, associate power to be distributed and held by individual men. You think he made enough power to give any man the power to destroy him? That wouldn't make sense. But he did show that he would use the power of delusion to make these people think that they could do just that. Achieve heaven. In heaven. While still standing in the flesh. Anybody who takes the time to read these books, especially the book of Enoch, what does he say? They took me to heaven in the flesh, but the flesh can't breathe there, so the angel told me to stay close. 
So without a righteous angel, see the wicked can't even go back. So without a righteous angle, angel attached to you, you can't breathe outside of the firmament. So all these hopes of reaching heaven, Now it makes sense why they go in astronaut suits. See, there's no, no, no space. There's no vacuum space in container, and they're spread out around. I just, I encourage people to take the time to read. When you read what's actually there versus what they've taught all of us, they taught they they taught us. A childhood version. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they left any death or murder in the Bible. You know, it's 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 just that they know they're going to commit death and murder. So so I'm sure they left it in just to just to be like, well, it's okay because you're experiencing it now. Right? You're experiencing it now. All right. Sidetrack Olympics. I am in the lead. Sorry, everybody. My sidetrack Olympics medal will not be gold. <laughs> we don't have gold here. And he decided to save them to kick their asses a couple of centuries later, so he scattered them throughout the earth. Hmm? And those that were left amongst them, when they knew and understood the evil which was coming upon them, they forsook the, the building. They forsook the building of the, the tower, huh? and they became scattered upon the whole face of the earth. And they ceased building the city and the tower. Therefore, he called that place Babel. You see that? That's where we get the name Babel. Okay? Not because anything else. For the Ishi confounded the language of the whole earth. Behold, it was at the east of the land of Shinar. Hmm. Yeah. Archaic hominid. You know what? What did we look at before? Proto. Pronto. Same thing here. They emerged from the area that had been inhabited by humans and predecessor hominids. This doesn't say, right? It says pre, right? It doesn't say they're living at the same time, 
right? Archaeological evidence provides that early Stone Age hominids inhabited Mongolia first. Hmm? This says it says it happened in the east. Mongolia is not east of the land of Shinar. So presumably it happens closer to Shinar, China. Now, that place, the city, The tower and the city are not in the exact same location. How can you have a giant city and a giant tower? You're told the tower, the building of the tower stopped and they went back to the city. So it's two different places in the same land and they ceased building the city excuse me and the tower therefore they call that place babel he confounded the language of the whole earth behold it was at the east so why they keep going to arabia why they keep going right to the middle east is to the east not middle east is China further east than the Middle East? And as to the tower which the sons of men built. Remember, the sons of men hmm, became like apes and elephants. How many species of apes are there? It's pluralized. How many species of elephants are there? It's pluralized. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up one third of it. And fire also descended from, so a meteor shower, and burned another third of it. And one third is left to this day and that part is aloft in the air. Now, how can you have a tower two thirds be destroyed, yet one third still be there, yet that third be in the air? Aloft. Hmm? Air. On to in. It's not floating. So if you take the time to look at Kailash and see the different angles of Kailash, you will find there are parts of Kailash missing. But again, you have to compare the above to the different angles. If you see here, it's just constantly the same angles. The best angles to get is by typing in Mount Kailash through Google and not going through the images, but going through the articles. That's how you get the best look of Mount Kailash. The videos and the articles. Different view. You can see in a view like this, it's a pyramid, but that's not a straight angle right there. So what happened? You can see, here is the pyramidal part you see. So when you look 
at this, you're seeing this angle and you can't see the big giant hole that's right here. See that hole? They want you to say, oh, I believe that's an eye and that's an eye and that's a nose and that's a, that's a hole in the mountain that looks like a pyramid. So if you sat there with your ruler and you took your ruler and you cut off that part, and you estimated that square, and then estimated this square, you would find it one to one ratio. And then if you peeked it out up here, guess what's missing? One third. So you're looking at one third of this, which means another half set next to it, and then it had a peak. Now, when we get over here to this thick ass map, this is right over here. Along these lines, these are the mountainous regions. And this is where Kailash is, right in here. Between China and india now again this says tibetan 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 it's still china so blah 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 now that temple that looks like the scale model of israel somewhere around here now here's the where the mountain region was. this is the autonomous region this is plains the great plains of the east. <laughs> so let's go over here. Let's go back. And they tell us in their, their own way. Hmm, Neanderthals and Dizovians. So they told you who has the highest East Asians. But yet, when you type over here, Mexican. Where did that one go? I get rid of that one. There it is. Hiding from me. Mexican and Neanderthal, they tell you Mexicans have the highest. That's how we got here. Off previous article. Now we click on this and they're giving us what? They're showing us East Asians have the highest, then Mexicans, then white people. Now, let's go back to the idea of the tower. And then you have what? Let's say you have a radius of the tower. This is the congestion within the tower. There are groups working in the tower. And the groups feel like this and this and this. Okay, so the Asians are a large number. And they're all in one spot. Now, you wanna know what's interesting? Now it says Mexican. Now, the Mexicans don't seem to be as large as the Asians, and they're not necessarily in one spot, and they're nowhere near that area. Then you have the caucus. Yet again, they are a large number. They're nowhere near that area. Now, we go over here to this book. When we start understanding what's being said here i'll make it so they can't talk to each other the ones that shot arrows right the lord just had the issue had them killed the ones that say we will ascend into heaven and fight against him 
he scattered them. Now you have your Mexican people with Neanderthal DNA to show that they were there. You have your Caucasus people with the same DNA to show they were there. At the same time, you had Abraham and Terah, his father, and what? Lot. All leaving from the vicinity of Nimrod. By foot. We don't know how far they got. But the idea was, is they're not worshiping these monkey men that are just created. They're not worshiping these elephant men because what is the story of Abraham? Thou shalt not worship idols. Thou shalt give praise to he who actually created these things for me. So these divisions and those who were left among them. From my perspective, reading this and understanding the location, clearly this is the Asians. Those who were left amongst them, they knew and understood the evil which was coming upon them. They left the building and they became, they became scattered upon the whole earth. Our Native Americans, Asians. We'll just sum this up real quick since people don't understand uh, the truth. Our Native Americans, Asians. I can play countless videos. You already know the answer to this. So, why even play this game anymore? They take our tax money and destroy us. Because this is what they're do, told to do federally. Why keep playing these silly games? It's to the point right now that you have seen so much. You can look at the Native Americans and tell which ones are from Polynesian lands. And you can look at them and you can tell which ones are Mongols. But there's still groups we haven't discovered the names to, that we see the faces all the time so what we're going to do is we're going to take an iron and we're going to try to iron some of this out because even though there will be some that we will not be able to name just like all melanated people are black people we will be able to assume the position of groups based on their spiritual outputting. Because it's written right here, we are not in the position to truly appreciate what these few lines have given us. You've given us a clear mentality. If you bring up God, the Most High, the Creator, around someone who has it written in their heart to fight against those that are in heaven. Well, that sounds like, that sounds like having a special device to be able to see vampires when they're amongst you. But it's all done through the mouth. All you have to do is say, oh, I love God. 
And then those that hate, what do the Ten Commandments say? Oh, I think this is all making complete sense now. I don't understand it. It's like it's like somebody stitching it all together right now. I mean, it makes so much sense when you think about the words that are actually used. Hmm? They worship things now that are not gods. Huh? Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. What are they doing? They're serving things that are not angels. Do not have the power of angels. Hmm? For I am thy creator. I am a jealous, jealous being. And I visit the iniquity of the fathers upon the children into the fourth generation. Hmm? I take the Ten Commandments and I do the opposite of this. This is a contract to all men. And when you do not feel, fulfill the contract, hmm, you're a cheat, you're a raider, then your sons and daughters, hmm, then they, what? Then they put gods before, so you're a Christian. You taught Christianity over the laws of man. You ignored the creator. And now you have a son. And how many people see that the Christian pastor, his son, is not very manly today. And most of these sons don't produce more generations for him. The third, the fourth generation. I what? I visit the iniquity. So you worship Moloch and your grandchildren won't do that because the curse. So, and you worship Isis and your grandchildren won't do what you done taught them to do because the curse has come upon you. And how many generations have you fallen away? Because when you're 10 generations falling away in the fourth generation, you start getting the curse of the Ten Commandments. The things that you wouldn't follow. Thou shalt not murder. Hmm? So let's see. Right? This is one. Right? Here's two. Nope. Excuse me. Two. Three. Four. Look how many people don't have six days. You got to work every seven days straight. That's a curse. Right? Think about it. Three, four. Nope, two. Same one. Four. Honor thy father and mother. Five. So it's five plus. Now look at this. Look at this. I do this to them in the third and fourth generation. Five plus three is eight. So let's go back eight generations and find out what your great, 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 great grandmammy and grandpappy did on both sides of your family. And here we have the curse coming up and chasing you, which means if for whatever reason, thou shalt not kill fucks with your mind. Hmm? Are these written in order? Stealing seems worse than killing. These might not be in order, but you can see the Catholic preacher, generations later, they say, I don't like women. Grandpa, I have a partner. Grandpa says, looks like we will not have grandchildren. Looks like our tree will end here, our branch. And when they go back to Genesis, 
about the tree of life and your name written on the tree of life. You see what's going on? But they want to argue against these things. They want to make it so you can't say it directly. But they'll block you. Don't say the judgment of what my actions are. Or publicly, you're hurting my feelings. You have to accept my insanity in your house, on your phones, in your commercials. I accept your insanity. Because in reality, they are judgments. And I'm watching the judgments come to life through your flesh. That has been deemed wicked. Or this is nothing new. You knew you were not righteous doing the things that you did. You didn't try to change your life. You tried to live every day consistently in the same filth. Why well, should a lifeboat be thrown for someone that's made those choices every day that we have? It's just one more day to repent. But selfishness tells us over and over again. That's silly. Yet, we see death, we see disease. Which means we actually see the promises that were consistently made. That we, the Israelites, and all other men and women of other nations did not uphold. Which pushed us all in the category of heathens. Which means when the Most High says, when my children come back to me, he's always left you a window to go home. But I wouldn't wait until Judgment Day to try to go home. Ha ha ha. That'd just be silly. That would just be silly. So, think about all this. How it all fits together. The mentality, the war, hmm? excuse me, the war machine. Even Elon Musk wants to build robots to be servants to man. Yet he panics because he says Judgment Day is coming. We can build robots, but we won't even have time to enjoy our robot. Hey. So let's move forward. The Mexicans, a very interesting bunch hiding their uh, history. So, there's a theory of the Phoenician discovery of America. We all know that Spain, right, discovered America. So, just on the title alone, very interesting, the idea that Carthage fell. The remaining Carthaginians had to go somewhere. Eventually, you have the, Valen, the Vandals, the Allens. The Allens are an Iranian group. Vandals, you know, brought most likely you know, cousins to them. You know, no different than the Ashkenazi or cousins to the Iranian come from the same stock. They are Scathians. So you have Scathian groups coming down into Africa, all going upwards in the Europe. So 
where do the Phoenicians fit into this? And I think they have reached the point of revealing to the public whom they are. So when you go, are the Mexican, the Phoenician, two things come up. The theory of Phoenician discovery of America and Mexican monument gives tribute to the Phoenicians. So, all right, so here you have the theory of Phoenician discovery of America suggests that the earliest Old World contacts with the America was not with Columbus or North settlers, but with Phoenicians or alternatively other Semitic people. Now, you see what they did? Phoenicians are African. And so the writer purposely did not write Hamites. They wrote Semitic people. Again, it's a racial group, not a cultural. So, and this is, let me explain this right now. This is why you have the term race. All of us are supposed to be men. We're not all men. Some are of man, some are of mankind. The easiest way to explain this is, uh, all right, so there's a video. It's the hidden DNA discovery only found in black African people. Again, the title so damn backwards, it, it makes it a controversy. <laughs> In the video, he explains the scientists form an experiment uh, studying the chromosome. They find that uh, each group of animal they work with has a certain amount of genomes. The one animal, I think it starts with the monkey, then they go to the chimpanzee, then they go to the ape. Right, they have three, then the next has four, the next have five. Then they switch out and they go to humans. And then they go to this particular human, and they have six, they go to this particular human, they have seven. They go to what they are calling on screen black or African or African American, and they say they have nine. So now, what did the most high do? at the Tower of Babel. He converted their in genomes. Right now I should be typing boom, damn it. There are no monkeys that were working with stone and brass. They were humans whose genomes were converted. Meaning reduced. Meaning, what happened to everybody's pigment and melanation? Uh, a snap happened. And by this, the Most High changed some of them. So imagine you see people later in history mating with certain things because they knew they weren't really things, they were humans converted. The beast. What does the Most High do to Nibu Chitnizir? Now your stomach can digest grass. Now your balance is off and you got to walk on all four. What is Nibu Chad Nazir in comparison to an idol? He is the top of the idol. And what would the idol end with? Feet of mixed clay. What is mixed clay? Genome snap. If animals got 
three, four, five. Humans got five, six, maybe seven. And melanated people got nine. In this video, it doesn't really suit me because he uses the idea that, oh, this means you can survive anything. You can overcome anything. No, no. It will take a 2,000 pound car. We'll hoist it above you. We'll drop it on you. And we'll see if you can survive that. You and I know we can't survive that shit. Put you in an internment camp, torture your ass for three years. Will you survive that? Probably not. Does having nine genome say, or whatever he says in the video, excuse me if he doesn't say genome, but does that mean that your survival rating increases? No. It means that you have something more than monkeys have. They still have the same thing. You just have an abundance. And everybody else, they got snapped and reduced were their actions at the Tower of Babel. And it lies in the blood. They can't get away from it. Can't get away from it. Again, there's no aliens, this and that. Much worse. The entity that created you said right after he created you, you disgust me. And he changed you. Because why? You built a giant king tower to try to destroy him. And he was like, no, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Snap. You're a monkey now. And clap, clap. Now you're attracted to that monkey. It's your god. See that guy with the big, big member? Uh-huh. On his face? Yeah, you're attracted to Elephant Man now. Isn't that interesting? In that movie, Elephant Man with Cher, right? That one girl was attracted to, to him with that makeup on, right? Because it was in her DNA. Huh? So. I don't know if we're going to take this route. I'm looking at this, and this is just silly to read. Ah, the Sarangasto Sea may seem, excuse me, may have been known earlier to earlier mariners as a poem by the late 4th century author Rufus Festus Avianius describes a portion of the Atlantic as being covered with seaweed. Citing a now a now lost account by the fifth century BC Carthaginian Himalikil 
the navigator. So in the 18th century, a number of people speculated on the origins of the petroglyphs on Dighton Rock in Berkeley, Massachusetts. Ezra Stiles, then president of Yale, believed them to be Hebrew. So a guy with a Hebrew name believed them to be Hebrew, but they're telling you it's Carthaginian, it's right. So it's really, it's really a Scythian, right? Them that say they are and are not, it's a Scythian, not understanding the Phoenician link because he never fought against the Phoenician. He never lived, right? His, his, his genetic memory has no recollection So, Antonio Court de Bell, Gebelin, all right, uh, even though this guy's name was Rufus, Rufus found that, no picture, you know, he was black, all right, Antoine, Antoine got a little twang to his face, huh? All right, so Antoine was like, he argued in Le Monde Primitive, the primitive world, that they commemorated an ancient visit to the East Coast by a group of sailors from Carthage, modern day Tunisia. 19th century belief in an Israelite visit to the Americas came, became a part of Mormonism. So that's interesting, right? The House of Joseph allegedly came, right? Uh, they talking about the Polynesian dude. Uh, they make statues to po Polynesia, Joseph of Egypt, which is what? The Hamites, not. We go through East Asians and Polynesians are related to East Asians. That's the children of Ham. That's these people choosing who they're gonna call you. This is another reason why Most High does not see favor on them. If he makes a choice and man decides as a group, we're not good with that choice, we're gonna make a different choice. Whoa, okay. That's like the children going up against the dad. Don't the dad usually kick the children out after that? Right? Or don't the children try to murder the dad, Menendez brothers? Isn't this what we just read in, in the book of Jashir? They shot arrows at heaven and Mosai trinkled blood on them so they would think that they killed somebody. And they did. They, 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 they didn't see blood on the arrows and start repenting. What have we done? Ross T. Christensen, isn't that the same person that, right? Never mind. Propounded the theory that the mule kites in the Mormon were largely Phoenician in their ethnic origin. So people should think about that. So here we have 1871 Book of Ancient America. John Baldwin repeats some of the arguments given for Phoenician visits to America, but concludes that if it were true that the civilization found in Mexico and Central America came from people of the Phoenician race, it would be true also that they built in America as they never built anywhere else. Wow, that's that's unique. And that they established a language here radically unlike their own, and that they use a style of writing totally different from that which they carried into every other region occupied by their colony. What was he saying? He's saying it's no way that they were them. Because here they were doing too many things radically different. Radically means in opposition, right? 
all the forms of alphabet writing used at present in Europe and Southwest Asia came directly or indirectly from it, that anciently invented by the race <laughs> to which the Phoenicians belong. Okay, wow. You just had to write it that way. So, <clears throat> here you have him saying, the Phoenicians, who are Hamites, that all forms of alphabetical writing used at that time, 1871, in Europe and southwestern Asia came directly from these Africans. What does that mean? That means these Africans, the Phoenicians, spread to Europe and Southwest Asia with their writing system and what? Taught everyone how to communicate with them. And they have traces of a common relationship which can be easily detected. That means if you went to a Phoenician colony or a city that grew from the Phoenicians, from their colonies, whether it be in Europe, whether it be in Southwestern Asia, you will find the traces of the alphabetical writing and it will be easily detected that it is Phoenician. So again, his point is, why wouldn't that be the same in America or any parts of America? Now the writing of the inscription at Palenque, Copan and elsewhere in the ruins has no relatedness to the Phoenician than to the Chinese writing, meaning it doesn't come from either. It has not a single character that be, can be called Phoenician, any more than the language of the inscriptions or the style of the architecture with which it is associated. Therefore, we cannot reasonably suppose this American civilization was originated by the people of the Phoenician race. Right? He repeats arguments that the Phoenicians could have visited America, but concludes that these sites, hell no. Can't be so. Possible artifacts, blah, blah, blah. Modern theories. All right, so does anything say Mexico? Just where we were re reading before. If it were true. Hmm? Nothing down here. Talking about the Phoenicians in Mexico. So, it's just about America. So, this happened recently. There is this giant monument. It texts at the base of the inspiring monument reads, my homeland is the love that knows no hatred. Really, did the, did the cartel approve this? Don't tell my nation, don't tell my nation out of selfishness facing the world. We are neighbors and brothers of all mankind. Doesn't that sound like an African statement? And again, they make this in, it's what? Cadius and Europa. So as we read, we're gonna find out. Uh, I've been down this road. When you chase the Minotaur, son of the Phoenician king, Agenor, Agenor and queen, Thelasia of Tyr, 
Tyre is the city that sank to the bottom of the ocean. Cadius is known as the legendary educator who traveled from Phoenicia to today's Lebanon. All right, ask Keanu Reeves, he asked uh, Danny DeVito, ask Monk. Hmm? Travel from Phoenicia to Greece in search of his sister Europa, who was taken by Zeus, should have went to the island of Crete, according to the Greek mythology. Cadmus went to find her, carrying along with him the alphabet of Phoenicia to Greece, and this is why they always travel with the alphabet, and he is credited with teaching the Greeks the alphabet. Legend has it that his brothers, princes Phoenix, is where we get Phoenix, and Felix, right, this is where we get Felix, also traveled the seas, this is where we get Silica, in search of their sister, by order, oh shit, all right, by order of their father, oh, here he is, but, how did I skip that? By order of their royal parents. All right, royal parents. Go. <clears throat> so Zeus stole Europa, took her to the Minotaur. Remember, Europa is put on the back of the Minotaur, and somehow the Minotaur can swim, right? And he takes her to the island of Crete, where the maze is built for the Minotaur, right? The same maze that the Minotaur can't leave. So how did the Minotaur get the girl on her back and trap? Yeah, okay, whatever. So Zeus, right, this guy that they worship, Baal, remember, they don't call shit Zeus. They don't name nothing Baal. I'll, I'll show you. You want the people that name shit Baal, you want the Baalanese. And we want Balanese people, people of Baal. And then we also want to start off, we're going to kick this off with the Balanese temples. We're going to actually end this with that. And so we'll go back to where we were and we'll get to that now. says his parents send him on this goose chase to find his sister Cadmus is all now why would he go to the Greeks because they know the Greeks worship the Zeus right Cadmus is also credited with the teaching advanced skills of the Phoenicians to the locals of every coast coastal town he visited in his quest for his sister notably in engineering and infrastructure he is also acclaimed as the founder of the Greek city of Thebes, Thebes, stolen, and praised as a hero in Greek mythology. Almastrio Monument, this is what it's called, Al Maestrio. Now remember, they're Mexicans, this is Mexico, and they named it Maestrio Al Maestrio. All right? Al Maestrio Monument is one of its kind and gives tribute to the Phoenicians as masters of education in the person of Cadmus. Now, that has to make you think from the story that you just heard. Are the, Phine are the Mexicans Greeks or are they Phoenicians? The Phoenician alphabet, after all, came to unite the different dialects of the Greek island at the time, and further ahead gave the world a need a needed uh, tool of written communication. So, again, this, they're crediting them with teaching an alphabet, right? Now, again, you're you and me were using the Latin alphabet. Now, it's easy for us to say. Our Punix. Our Punix Latin.
Punic is the Latin word for Carthaginian or Phoenician. Now, if Carthaginians are a city, and it's the people of a city, and they're actually Phoenicians, and the Phoenicians are going around teaching people laws and alphabet, and the Latins have the power to change the name Carthage and change the name Phoenician from history to Punic, Punicus. Sounds like vagina, doesn't it? Hmm? Are the Punics Berbers? The Punics traced their heritage to Phoenicians and the Berbers, a people in, cur in culture indigenous to North Africa. So, you see how they they just give you things you don't ask for, right? So, Gotta write it the same way, huh? Now you see how the shit changed all of a sudden? You add one little letter and your search changes. Our Mexicans Punics, and it says, oh, Hispanic, right? Or Latino. You already know Latin and Latino. So this shouldn't be very hard. Punic Wars between Rome and Carthage, right? So under the same, this Mexican monument comes up. So let's take it a step forward. Let's go forward and let's say our Mexicans Punicus, right? And what comes up? Ancient Carthage, but it's not going to tell us Mexican or not. All right. Fish eating bat? Okay. After the battle, 3,000 Hispanics were integrated into the Carthaginian blah, 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 blah. So it should be very clear that you say Hispanic or Latino, right? So then. This is saying that the 3,000, where are we at? 3,000 Mexicans were integrated into Carthage. So it's, it, the Latins are the, Lat, the, the Carthaginians are the Latinos. So again, they're Hamites. There is no question of why Hannibal's there or anything like that. It doesn't matter what the Berbers look like. They're still brothers to these people. So, he's running around giving them the alphabet, right? In the Phoenician colony at Carthage, the language developed with time and became known at the later stage as Punic or Punicus, the main language of the Carthaginian Empire. Phoenician language hasn't entirely vanished, but has as commonly assumed some words have remained to date according to britannica phoenician words are found in classical greek latin literature as well as the writings of egyptian akkadian and hebrew languages and here's this picture of the statue All right so it's just a stone with a man and children around it, glamorizing. I mean, seriously, it's just a fucking pillar with some writing on it. It's not even like, you know, it's a stick, right? It's, it's just a stick glamorized, wooden stone. I mean, unless you have the mentality to view it as a penis, a goddamn statue of a dick, 
And then you see these people glamorizing it. And then you start to fully understand what's going on. What does a penis carry? It carries seed. What is a language? What is an alphabet? Seeds. Why are they standing there touching it? His name was what? Well, when we read this, it sure wasn't Maestrio. Why is Al before Maestro? It seems kind of Arab. Where did they come from? Well, if we read this shit, it tells this and it tells that. All right. Go back to that one. Where does this could be one of these? Right there. Everything we want to know. Look, the fucking Piso family comes up. Oh, it's over. Oh, that's complete circle. Nope. 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 This is how we get the New Testament. This is we got. That's how we get Carthaginians, who were really the Phoenicians, who were really Canaanites. This is how we get them overseeing which books of the Bible will be dispersed through the world because of this relationship with them and the Greeks. What are you reading in the Bible? Oh, the war with the heathen, but the heathen is called the Greeks at that time. But you're told like not to be with Canaan. How did Canaanites get a hold of the scriptural book and then you're like, oh, well, the heathen, their buddies, oh, it's all right there. You're fighting these fucking people. They destroyed you. They took your property and rewrote it and redispersed it. They watered down the message inside. They still don't follow the message. Even with, it's watered down, God damn it. How hard could it be to drink? It's all right here. We don't even need we don't even need fifteen books from a college. We don't even need hidden books. All we gotta do is be real. Be realistic. What are they fighting for? Shake each other's hands? What is the outcome today? Land. So if Canaan went to a land that they weren't supposed to, and they got a curse, and then people came over here, and it turns out they're Africans. They're Phoenicians, right? It says here that they are Hispanics, Hispania, Hispanics, and Carthaginians. That's the same people who called themselves Spain, minus the dark-skinned people who called themselves Spain and came over here and killed everybody and rummaged through the mines and everything and brought the Asians and said that you would be you would not be recognized as, as what indigenous and these Asians that we brought over here we dispersed them through the world for, from the Tower of Babel. Now how could they be remembering to do some shit like that if it was four thousand years ago? How could they remember to do something like this unless it just happened? So keep these things in mind. As you're reading this, 
and people try to pile on thousands of years. Yet, they tell you, ooh, even in Sumar, they have technology we can't even understand. Yet, all throughout this, how do they build all these magnificent things and we just don't understand? So, we're, we are the dumb ones. We're the ones who've been dumbed down. The knowledge has been kept from us. You cannot control millions of people with old world technology, the knowledge of it running around. You'll have new leaders. You make them look like villains, right? You'd have new leaders every fucking month. My opinion is king, and here's my device. Every month. <sighs> So, while empire, the, while empires of the time of the Phoenicians traveled for conquest and war, the Phoenicians traveled wide and far, sharing knowledge, skill, innovation, and schools of thought and curiosity, seeking more to know and to explore. Studies published in 1892 by Thomas Crawford Johnson reported that the Phoenicians were heavily involved in the building and development of the ancient high civilizations of America, notably the Aztec and the Mayan. But they've already proven that's not true. Remnants of these curious seafarers' exploration of the world were even found as far as Quebec, Canada, dating over 20, but that's still not the Mayan and the Aztec. Again, it's ridiculous to say the people that came and destroyed the Mayan and the Aztec were there on the land years before when they built their initial system. That's what you're trying to say? Well, then that only fits one story. That only fits the story of Tigler Filzler picking people up and taking people to certain places. So again, to argue their point of view, the only argument that they can reach to solidify their point is to argue the Bible, which is against their favor and obviously a deterrent in their heart which again shows you what is their programming is to fight against the most high. It's not even to fight against the truth. It's to fight against the most high. That's why these people were scattered. And where do you find? Well, we can allegedly find them all the way up in Canada 2,500 years ago. Scattered. Everybody else was fighting to overtake another kingdom. These people, no, they were just exploring and sharing their language. They were trying to fight against Babel. Why would you share your language? So that people could communicate while we're facing a curse where we can't talk to each other. This isn't hard. It's just time consuming. It's right there. They're running around sharing their language with people so that and the whole world was of one tongue until this happened. I mean, I could keep repeating it in different sentences until it's downloaded into you. But when I started this video, I started this video to show you these temples in these Asian lands. I didn't think of any of this stuff that was going to be talked about. <sighs> That's how it goes. For me, it's 11 p.m. It's easy for me to just fill up my belly and fall asleep. And we're going to keep going.
is this is what's in my heart. So let's keep going. There's there's nothing. Oh, our team worked tirelessly to ensure Lebanese people have a reliable alternative to politically backed media with their heavily funded and dangerous propaganda machines. All right, so I'm just gonna stop there. It's the end of the article. I, I, I know not what that's all about. You see, when you start putting these things in the way that they want you to start skimming it, they start giving you the history that you should be looking at. It shows you where they became joint. If these are, if they argue Hispanics are actually Europeans, but the Latin people are not, but the Hispanics and the Latin roll side by side together now. So he read from Psalms 105, M.W. Smith read from Psalms 105, and when he got down to the nitty gritty, he read this. So, Just gonna be talking about Joseph for a minute, right? And Joseph was in the land of Ham. Now let's go to 23. So we're in Psalms 105, verse 23. No, let's Bible hub it. I want to show you this. So Jacob was a foreigner in the land of Ham, right? This is Joseph, and then Joseph invites his brothers, right? So they're in the land of Egypt, right? Land of Ham. And watch this. There's land of Ham, land of Ham, 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 Ham. So when we get down here to the Brenton Septuagint, it's going to change to the land of Cham. Now we've taken this route before. Other people, they they they're playing with you. Now, M. W. Smith, what he did was he opened this Bible. I'm pretty sure he opened this Bible because it said Cham, or whatever, you know. So if you sit there and say, "What is the land of Cham?" Cham, the descendants of ancient rulers of South China. <laughs> this is no, nothing new to us. We've been learning this for uh, all of this year now. So, this is what I mean. When other pairs of eyes start looking at it this way, and then they start saying, well, it's not about Lex, it's about the information. And he looks at the information and he goes into the Bible and he picks a particular Bible. And I can't say how he picked it. This is just what he showed. And it says, what? They did this and they did that in the land of Cham. Now, from my memory, I'm sitting here watching it. I think I'm hearing this. I think I'm hearing that. I focus. I thought it said they built temples in the land of Cham. And so, wow, what a hell of a ride I just went on. So, we're at one hour and 44 minutes. So, we'll just do a little briefies. Get us all caught up. Once your mind's caught up where my mind is, this should be enough. You know, Mayo Polynesian, right? So, but it's not. It's not. So, here we have Jacob, right? Or Ephraim. Came into Egypt, 
and Jacob showed. So when Ephraim's hanging out in Egypt, Jacob's like, I'm going to check out the land of Ham. So if we go to a different Bible, it's going to say he was checking out the land of Cham. Okay? Contemporary, they don't even want to tell you where it's at. So you see at the bottom, they start going Cham. Right? So most Bibles tell you Ham. Darby and another one tell you Cham. This tells us exactly what we're reading when we type in Land of Cham. South China or South of China. So that does not mean you go to China, you go to South China, and that's it. When the border of South China, that's it. it, it that is to say, the land of Cham is the land that the Hamites or the Chamites went to. So why doesn't it say Africa, god damn it? Everybody knows Kush and Ethiopia, they're Hamites. These people have built a system off lying to you. Every tax dollar you give them strengthens the lie. It's time you start boycotting their ass and break them. Let them pay rent on the expensive buildings until they realize you're not coming back as a customer. And let them pack your shit. Let them all go home. Come here, man. We're here to steal the money from America. It means take the resources, take it to a pawn shop so it translates into something else. Cash. And then they want to, why? Because they were fucking snapped. And they don't have what you have. Don't fall for, oh, all fam is fam. Black Africans on that recording telling you we're here to steal from you. Those black Africans aren't here to steal from the native Asians. Obviously, we have East Asians on screen so here in america we must be dealing with groups of west asians which still makes them africans because they come from the same source cham and the people of cham are china and south china So, when we go further through here, he increases people greatly, made them stronger than their enemies. He told them not to be with the Hamites, and he put them on the land of the Hamites, and he made the Israelites stronger than the Hamites. Are you reading this with me? And he turned their heart to hate his people. So he turned the heart of their enemies, because they're going around the land of Ham, right? So he turned the heart of the Hamites against his people, his people who are Israel. So I asked you. So I asked you to come over uh, in the community, and I put up a post, right? I see sometimes people see the post. I see sometimes people do not see the post. You have to watch this video. I can't play the video. If I play the video, it will be blocked worldwide. They telling you the root of their free. I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to try to look up the thing. Probably get a commercial first. Do they need their commercial money? That's right.
All right. So they tell you. Now, first off, they got a little KKK hats. Secondly, we see the front of the hat. Front of the hat. It got all seen eye on it. All right. That's the back of the hat with the stamp and seal. This is their church. Their church. Got the all seeing eye with the damn eyebrow on it. You watch this four minute video, they tell you their goal is to unify all religions. Are the Freemasons doing their work? When you watch Marco Polo, they said no more season two because at the end of season, I mean, no more season three, the end of season two, you showed that Kublai Khan made Marco Polo a Freemason. And that shows that Freemason was brought to Europe from Marco Polo. No more Marco Polo TV show. Jerks. This is where they got it. He sits down with Morgan Freeman. He explains, our goal is to unify all religions. That's the one world government. They tell you it's the beasts of the sea. They live in the ocean, bro. Not the people of China. The other East Asians, when you look at this map, there's a whole portion down in the sea that would extend down here. These are the people of the sea out of where the beast will rise. They're just going to get on ships from China. The river that seems to be the Jordan comes from here. You see this land underwater? This land underwater very well could be Eden. If you look at all the other places where water connects, they don't have that much land underwater like you have land underwater in all these places. When I start doing the other rivers besides the Jordan, where do you think the root of their names are going to go back to? I'm going to go back to China. I'm just going to show you. And Babylon wasn't in the middle of the east. It was over the, the Asiatic west. The original Babel and Tower are in the east. Babylon, which came up next, is next to that in the west. Then the power moved to the Middle East. Then the power moved to Europe. Then the power moved to America. We're out of and land masses to move the power to. It's over. This is the end of the line. Every empire gets 400 wicked years. You can't count. Don't you keep hearing 400? The rise and fall of this, the rise and fall of that. And they went to a new land and started a kingdom. And the rise and fall was 400, 400, 400, 400. Over and over and over and over and over and over again i didn't choose this it's a pattern i can just see it who can't see patterns your child they teach you right they're disputing over territory it's fake they want you to think they're arguing over nothing they want you to think they are not together isn't that a Confucius trick? <laughs> it's 
So we get here. <clears throat> I showed them signs. Huh? They showed his signs among them. Among who? Well, Moses and Aaron were among the people that hated the Israelites. And so they, Moses and Aaron, showed his signs among the Israelites. And the wonders, where did they do it? In the land of Cham. He sent darkness. He made it dark. What was the promise? Cyrus, my man, my main man, if you do my bidding, I will show you darkness. They rebelled and not against his word. They turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. The land brought frogs in abundance. That's the ten plagues. He's not talking about Egypt. He said the land of Cham. When I show you the temples of Indonesia, when I show you the temples of Myanmar, you're going to look at Egypt and realize it's fucking Lego blocks compared to a Gothic cathedral. You've been lied to. I've been lied to. I've got a heartbeat. I've got affinity for the truth. I think I'll combine the two and make a video. He spake and they, there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. Africa is one landmass. Okay? You cannot say the people of the sea from the children of Ham and be talking about one landmass where people are landlocked inside of that landmass. That's ridiculous. When I show you this map of South China Sea and you see all these islands that are mega nations, you just don't think they're mega nations because you do not know the history of them. I'm learning the history too. That's why I'm calling them mega nations. When we look at this, do you see how many coastlines? China's got a coastline, Japan, the Philippines, Vietnam. All these places have a coastline. Thailand's coastline, Cambodia's coastline, Melanesia, huh? Borneo. Do you understand now what the scripture is saying? Hmm? There are people that are out there from 11 different nations, even more, that want your resources so they are willing to change everything in this book. You don't think this book came right out and said exactly where you were? You don't think they changed the name from Thailand and took it out of the book? You don't think they took Myanmar out of the book? Whatever those places were named prior to the corporations that were built now, their corporations are older than your corporations. So who is doing who's bidding? All your products say made in China. You have been told, you have been ordered by the fucking world. Whoever's in control of the world ordered you. No, do not let them say made in America. Do not let them produce anything. Now you make a couple of fucking candy bars with Hershey. You make some jam with Smuckers. You make some tires with Goodyear. 
You make some cars with Ford, but you get all the parts fucking overseas. And we're no longer in a Bible talk. We're in America's fucked up talk now, right? Now your farmland has been bought by the person that makes your computer. The same people that decide the amount of radiation you will get from a goddamn device is now in control of your food. Right? Remember five years ago, they said in certain cities, we will not allow you to have gardens. We will not allow you to grow your own food. These Freemasons, they want to control the companies. They want to control the commerce. Why? Because you have to pay for food in a system where you can't grow your food, which means they can starve you out. Which means their plans are very vivid right now. There's no hiding what they're trying to do. You will go to fucking work tomorrow and you will work with the person who owns the company who is a Freemason. And they'll come with these new, you need to do this, you need to do this, you have to have this in your blood. And they know that the laws cannot uphold anything that they fucking say. They just dictate it to you because they pay you. They're your fucking daddy. They said, change your blood or you don't get a paycheck. They put these nurses and these doctors for six months. So I took it. I took it. You should too. Now they sit there and protest. Well, if the nurses and doctors, you mean the same not doctors and nurses six months ago sat there and said they already fucking took it? Now they're saying, well, we don't want to take it. And, 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 and we, we, we'll just, we, you know, we boycotts. We'll, you can put us out of work. We're on strike. We won't take it. So their master said, you have until this day to take it, or we'll just, we'll find new ones. You got the mayor of fucking New York sitting there, yeah, huh? sexual allegations against him. Oh, oh. Women, some women heard, one woman came forward, then many women. He said, I'll leave my fucking job in two fucking weeks. I'm going to rob a goddamn bank. Don't come for me for fucking two weeks. If that motherfucker can take his paycheck for two more fucking weeks. When the bylaws of the city say no, he's got to be removed immediately. And he can make a goddamn public statement. I'll leave in two weeks. Can you accept that? No, there's nothing wrong with them. Huh? Hell no, there's nothing wrong with them. I can sit here and say anything I fucking want. It's up to the people who hear me say it to do something about it. So the National News picked that up. They told the world. This guy got caught breaking the law. And he said he's going to stay in his place of power for two more weeks. Don't bother me. That's the people. This happened in 1950. There'd be thousands of white people outside of his office. Torches, pitchforks. This happened in 1930. Thousands of black people outside of his office. Pitchforks, torches. Now today, both groups are drunk as shit. Worrying about pronouns and shit you can and can't say, or somebody will take away your rights. That's what it comes to. So again, they tell you, man, the nations can get lice and you can't, right? He gave them hell for rain, that's a plague. Flaming fire in their land. Smote their vines. 
their fig trees and break their trees of all their coasts. So what? They couldn't make boats. The people of the, right? He spake and locusts came, caterpillars and without number, and did eat up all the herbs of the land, devour the fruit of the ground. All right, here we go. He smote the firstborn. Right? Egypt was glad when they departed. Again, I have to ask you, are you talking about many coastlines if you're talking about Africa where they just, the Nile River? It becomes a, a joke, right? Think of them in their meetings every Tuesday and 30, Thursday laughing at us. Oh, enough, enough of the laughs. Let's think about what we're squandering of this land today. Let's go for the gold. We're saving the gold for the last. You know that. It's a lot of things that we haven't covered. Telecommunications and, you know, everything in between. All right? So when we go down, we've already seen this is Egypt. All right? He gave them the lands of the heathen. Didn't I show you a temple? that match Jerusalem in the land of the heathen? No. And it's in a desert? Right outside the Gobi Desert. Desert of desertification is, has overclaimed it. And they inherited the labor of the people. So now a story of the islands, right? Or of South China. I'm looking for a story where all the people were grouped together to leave one area. I'm looking for the exodus there now. I can see it. I can see where all this leads. I just don't know the history well enough to say it's it's this or to say it's that right this moment. But I got another trick up my sleeve. Huh? Just a t-shirt. Usually people say that and they, they're wearing a long sleeve. Never mind. Um Belenese people. People of Indonesia. Sunken Bali. So if you sit there and say Balinese people, they call themselves the people of Bali, the Bali right? That's Bale, Bali, right? Then they got one thing, as soon as you looked at it, they got a place called Sunken Bali, right? So how many different, we're already two hours into this. Um, I'm, I'm very tired. How many times when we go into this, we'll probably pick this up tomorrow. How many times do you think we will find them naming some shit. Bally this or Bally that. So, before we do that, let's save this. Since we got back into reading so, so much. All right. And let's say, what are the temples? Because again, when he read his, I was hearing they built this or they built temples in the land of Cham. You, you saw yourself, I just showed you in this Bible we're reading, it said they were given the people. So, right, the 10 plagues happened. It doesn't even talk about in Exodus, but they were given the people. Let me put that back on screen. I don't want to have anybody confused about what I'm saying, right? And gave them the lands of the heathen. And they inherited the labor of the people. That does mean he made the Israelites masters of the people after the ten plagues, right? See, it's 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 Psalms. We're not discussing the Exodus walk. We're not discussing the forty weeks in the wilderness right now. What we're discussing are the power contrast that happened between the two. 
and he did this for them, and this happened. He did this for Joseph, and this happened. He did this for the Israelites, and this happened. And he strengthened the hearts of the wicked against his own people. Uh, didn't I just talk to you about that? What did he do with the Pharaoh? And we just read this, and he strengthens the hearts of their enemies so they're meaner to the Israelites. Why would the Most High do that? Again, let's go back up. I hope I find it fast, right? And he sent Moses and Aaron, right? And the divine princes and made them. And he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies, right? And he turned their hearts to hate his people. Now, he said with his people, he made what? He made his people great. He made them stronger than their enemies, but turned the heart of their enemies huh, to hate his people. See, I told you, it was right there. The Most High is creating these dynamics to make it intensify, hype it up. You know, right before you get into a fight, you say, all right now, right? And then you're, you're ready, you're primed, right? This is the same thing. Nobody is reading this book correctly. Nobody wants to teach you this book correctly or show you the truth that is in this book. Or the location. Again, Psalms 105 is an excerpt of the dynamics of the Exodus. The firstborn child, the this, the that, right? All these places are from a time period. And that's all we're going to do. So if you want to go ahead of me, so you see some of these, type in Mongolia. I haven't done that one yet. And type in temples. Type in North Korea and type in temples. Type in Japan, type in temples. Type in Taiwan. This is what we're going to do. And then sometimes we're going to slide in a very sneaky word. We're going to type in ancient. So just like we do your name plus surname, the word, right? And then origin. So I'm Williams. I would type it in Williams, surname, origin. And it tells you I'm from Welsh. So when we do the same thing with a foreign land and the word ancient instead of surnames and then temple instead of origins, we're going to see the original temples built in these places and we'll see the ancient temples built in these places and i'm going to tell you a secret buddha is the new guy on the block so when you make a temple and you don't put up no false god somebody else comes in the area after you left or warred with you and pushed you out and then what they do even though the war has affected it they still build their statue of their god and there's a guy praveen I, i've brought this up one or two times the guy privy pray a v so this guy in his own right he shows you he's a bad mofo this dude goes to the ancient temples and he finds moving parts moving pieces and he's very intelligent especially when it comes to archaeology uh, there's a few videos that I've watched that he does. I'm surprised I don't see a red bar under some of these. Because uh, I've, I've watched a lot of these. In fact, I should subscribe. But he shows you the moving parts of the temples, secret entrances. This one is excellent video, especially what we're talking about right now, right? The reptilian secret, and then they talk about there is a long statue of a snake. 
one end of this tail is uh, 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 is broken, the other end of the tail is not broken. And then when he does do this, he shows you the snake they are using there is the rattlesnake, which he says only comes from America. Why would the Hindu be using a rattlesnake that only comes from America unless they were in America? Which we already know they were in America because the evidence is in the Grand Canyon. And you see how that's the marriage of truth. I don't need to teach what that man is teaching because he's doing a good damn job. And I don't need to change my lessons that things happen here or started here in America because there's evidence of this. Now again, when you look at the Grand Canyon, either it has been beaten to shit or this is when they first started sculpting into mountains. You go to other mountains and you see there is a clean removal of stuff. And it doesn't look like it was dynamited. There's a couple of interesting people. And I'm going to bring this guy up. But his videos shows you that there's one in South America he does. And it shows you that the temple belonged to somebody else previously. And that they built a Buddha inside inside the temple and that the temple i remember it now the temple was originally a shiva temple and then obviously they defeated the shiva people and then they built the buddha in there now today you are told buddha and shiva are from the same land they're all best friends and all that shit in the past their people was warring with each other and these people that go like this on film they're hiding it from us so there's another person I've been watching, and it's, uh, let me think if I can, it's Curious Being. Now, I'm a little skeptical because this person looks like the, the last version of Michael Jackson. In fact, the features of this person's face are so much like Michael Jackson. Uh, how do I say this? The YouTuber, I can't remember his name. He did a really good Michael Jackson video. He had a series of Michael Jackson videos that were good. But he showed that the original Michael Jackson never was was never public after the Pepsi incident. I can't remember his name. He the last video he did, he did uh it's irrelevant, it's just more off the off the beaten path. So and then he, he showed all the different Michael Jacksons and showed how they looked as if they were just lookalikes based on making dance and sing, not really look like Michael Jackson. Again, when Michael Jackson left or died, right, he looked kind of like this with, it, with not even with a jerry curl. So it's funny to watch this person's face, you know, because again, it's got the same movements of Michael Jackson. So and then I just I just love watching Asian people try to speak like English. Like actually I gotta tell you, you know, you can take this how you want, you can act like it's racist, you know. I, I like people talking in their original language. Right? There, there's no way I I'm forty six. You're not gonna get me to like learn Chinese in five years. You know, like I yeah. It's not gonna happen. So to see them uh, speaking Chinese, although I'm like, what the hell are they saying all the time? It's still very interesting to watch. Like the first time you watch a foreign language that sounds okay to your head, you can sit there and fantasize like, well, they're just saying shit that you're not even paying attention to because you're comfortable with what you're hearing. You just fantasize, you have your own movie playing in yourself, right? So the same thing happens when I hear Oriental people speak their language, right? So here we have videos that she's done in the subject. Was the giant Buddha repurposed? Now, again, when I watched Praveen, Praveen showed 
that they took a Shiva temple that was defeated or destroyed and they propped up a Buddha image. So when I saw this recently and saw that the giant mega Buddha repurposed, I was like, oh, she might be onto something. I saw this and I was like, wow, she's really onto something. So she has her own thoughts and they're very interesting, you know, and it come to a point where her thoughts or her lectures or whatever, however you view it, it collided with some of the stuff that I deal with because um, when we learn the truth, let's go over here real quick because I don't say their name that good. the real goo or whatever this is we got this image from curious being now studying more we found all the people all the groups that were uh, uh, uh tributary to china but it's only by watching curious being did we see that this existed and then that's when i took the picture right and then the roruan we can see they are color people or people of color here's a person of Asian descent and you can see the difference there is in this picture one two three four five people that are fairly darker than the Korean right here so again to use these names later and to find their original or ancient locations again tells you more about what's going on in this area when the Most High gave you the land of Cham, who was moved and blah, blah, blah. So again, if the Canaanites left the land of Cham, if this is the land of Cham, and they went over here, or if you view it from Africa and they still went here, again, this is, this is very compelling. Because their DNA says they're from Africa. Their ancient name, shows they had a city south of what we call Egypt. But when you get into these temples, it's going to show you something completely different. You're going to have to ask yourself, who designed these things why are they so different especially when you think of how you live in areas that have been immersed with catholic cathedrals and christian churches and seven day adventists should never spend money because every day is the sabbath so how do they buy food very confusing And remember, the Most High gave you these places, these lands, these people, in hopes that you would worship him. And he told you in the very next books, Leviticus, the book of Numbers, the book of De Deuteronomy, he told you in the very next books, you did not. You built to other gods. And you worship those other gods. So he took our strength, our title, our nobility, and he made us equal with the heathen. So we'll pick up on this. Thank you all for being here. Praise the Most High. May He bless you all. That bless Him. Shalom.